Hello guys, today we are going to talk about the new upcoming character Deha. They are going to be a pyro DPS character in the game and she is coming in patch 3.5. So we're going to talk about her that if she is going to be worth pulling or not. So stay tuned till the end guys. I want to mention before you want before you going to pull for Deha. Deha is not going to be a free to play uh, friendly character. If you uh, if you are a F two P player, if you are a free to play player that you don't don't invest any money, you don't buy battle pass Vulcan, or you don't go for constellation or the signature weapon, then she's not gonna be that good for you. Second is uh, there are very limited weapons in the game. If you check, there are maximum of four five star claimer in the game they are only they currently only five four five star claimer in the game including wolf gravestone skyward pride and red horn red horn is not good for dea as uh, it's based on the ito's gameplay and the kit skyward pride uh, having energy recharge might be going to be like average weapon for dea and wolf creation going to be very very good on dea but none of these weapon is just you know fit exactly or perfectly to the dea's kit yes her, her signature weapon going to be perfect for her but that's not a f2p friendly weapon so if you are a f2p friendly uh, player f2p player i think uh, you gonna have some serious problem in terms of weapon if i talk about the four shard weapon i don't see any four shard weapon that are widely available and affordable or a widely available and a very old weapon that's going to be fit for their skit and gameplay and uh, the way she deals damage so weapons going to be the major problem if you are going to build your there so next problem is gonna you gonna have is the artifact sets i think Crimson which is going to be the only option for Deha. Beside that, I don't think any other artifact going to fit for Deha's uh, DPS build. Uh, Crimson which is going to be the only option in according to me. I don't know if any other artifact having that much capability of uh, being Deha's artifact. I think only Crimson which is going to be the option for Deha. So this is also bad that we have only one option for a deep or or a, for a dps character like deha uh, in my opinion that's that's really bad so when you pull there you're gonna have the two major problem first of all the weapon and second is artifact set there are literally no no weapon no four star or three star weapon in the game that you can give to your dea and you can just forget about worry, forget being worried about the weapon if you want to give a decent or above average weapon that's going to be the serpent spine but serpent spine again is not a f2p weapon you need to purchase a battle pass then only this weapon is going to be good next up guys these three problems are my major problems and Currently, uh, in the beta also, they nerf uh, Deha many times, like they nerf Deha 2-3 times. They first In first nerf, they made some adjustment to the uh, constellation, then in the second nerf, they made some adjustment to the multipliers, and in the third nerf, they just made the overall adjustment, like they nerf Deha 3 times that's that's very huge and they nerf there's like three time in the beta and everyone's saying that there is keep on dying in battle uh, uh they are having there's one of the passive is healing like there is having one of he one of the having one of the healing passive ability like they are heals herself when she goes down below 50 percent hp and then after that also she's keep on dying on in the field like all the all the beta testers saying that even after having a healing passive ability they is keep on dying on the field that's very bad i don't know why this is happening but that's going to be very bad if that's the case you need a proper healer or a or a shielder for there but if you're going to have a shielder, she's not going to perform that well. But because her damage works around taking damage and dealing more damage. If Dea takes damage, she's gonna deal more damage. That's how she's going to work on the field. But if you use shielder, that's not gonna happen. And you have uh, then only then you have to 
यूज आ प्रॉपर हीलर और आई डोंट नो आई एम सो कन्फ्यूज अबाउट दे आज गेम प्ले एंड एवरी थिंग दैन दैट आई हैव लॉस्ट माई इंटरेस्ट इन दे आ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द एलिमेंटल बर्थ ड्यूरेशन इज प्रिटी प्रिटी लो like very low like how the fuck like minimum of 10 second duration is needed for any character like uh, who's the, the character dealing the normal attacks or charge attack in, in the burst you need to have minimum of 10 second duration at least why they is having so low the elemental burst duration i don't understand second of all there is a claymore user and we all know claymore users uh, normal attack and fast attack speeds are very slow it to is a very commendable dps because it to deals a fa- it to gains attack speed or a char overall attack speed in the in his elemental burst same is with the razor razor also gains <coughs> normal attack speed bonus in his elemental burst but they has not uh, de- uh, gaining any normal attack speed or any at- kind of attack speed in her elemental burst so i think that's going to be an, another problem that they are going to perform a slow attacks and the duration is also very low i'm little worried about that how she's going to deal a proper high damage and uh, another thing guys currently i'm not seeing a proper team for they are everyone saying that they is going to be uh, dealing damage around the reaction called burgeon and uh, same like that hoot out de- deals a lots of damage around vaporize reaction sino deals the damage around aggravate reaction nilo deals the damage around bloom reaction but and same sorry not but but same going to happen with they have there's also going to deal damage around burgeon reaction but if you talk about the teams we don't have a proper team for theirs also i don't know there is a very f2p friendly team first of all they are uh, nahida is going to nahida is a five star character then if you use uh, the, if you use uh, banet i think banet going to be one option besides that i am very confused at what other option what other character are like going to be very perfect fit for theirs team maybe maybe shinkyu so team going to be they have banet a uh, hydro character may any hydro character ko ko me yelen shinky or a dendro character that's how you going to trigger the burgeon reaction and but i don't think this team is good like from where they are going to getting the buff only the only the banet here is gi- giving her the buff the attack buff uh, so i'm like very confused here like this is not the ideal team for any character currently like i don't want to use this team with um, my hoot or any character any pyro character any pyro dps character so this is very confusing to me that uh, there's no artifact no new artifact coming for they are like why they are not uh, launching or releasing a new artifact for they are they, are, they, are, they have released a new artifact specially for skara march and i don't think skara march is that much amazing dps even after giving that giving her the signature artifact that is made for skara march but they are is already very weak lots of lots of beta testers saying that she her damage is weak and she is kept on dying on the field and mioya is not releasing a proper artifact set and a weapon for they are like they are they are releasing a signature weapon of course but they are not giving any f2p friendly weapon like they did with sino and they did with uh, raiden shogun they raiden shogun they gave us the catch and sino they gave us missive wins fair they gave us lots of lots of free uh, uh, you know pole arms and the they, the pole arms are very great they, like if you talk about the kaiden cross fair if you talk about the moon pierce if you talk about the missive wins fair the catch they all these all are free weapons and they are all amazing but tell me one weapon that is good and they gave us gave it gave it us for free no then there's no claymore in the game in the event they gave us for free and that weapon is good like the, only the luxurious sea lord is good but again like serious so, so lord is sea lord is a very old weapon uh, there's like there's very less chances that everyone have this weapon is according to me the some major problem going to happen when they are drop first of all she is not going to be f to be friendly I think on C0 she's not going to be that good on C0. You need to have C1 or C2 constellation in order to deal a good amazing damage with uh, 
Deha. Second going to be the weapon problem. Either you have to go on with the signature weapon or surprisingly you own a, already own a Wolfgrave shown or third option going to be weapon for the serpent spine. Fourth op, fourth problem going to be the artifact related. You have only one option that's the Crimson Witch and Crimson Witch is a ass domain. Grinding that Crimson Witch domain is literally the hardest in the game according to me. So these four, four problems going to happen when they are dropped. And I'm even uh, now I'm not sure about the team that what team is going to be very good for Deha. So guys, uh, all the F2B players, please don't wish on there. I don't think they are going to be very good for F2B players. One more information that I want uh, I want to give you guys that many testers are saying that Mioyo Mioyo you know making they are future futuristic future proof that in 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 future definitely there there there's artifact sex going to come there's weapons going to come that going to be perfect match for for her kit they're going to be a, they're going to release some characters in fontaine so support characters that's going to be perfect fit for their team same they're going to release some new artifact sets also that's going to be very very good for deha uh, i think that's the case happens same it's uh, shao when shao came only only one weapon is is good for shao that's the primordial jade wings where beside that no four star no five star weapon in the game that was that was good for shao but after after many times like one to two years now we have some Five star weapons like Staff of Oma, Staff of Scarlet Sand, and uh, Calamity. They are they, these all weapons are very good. These all five star weapons are very good on Shao. And also we have Missive Wind Spare. We have Wave Breaker Frame. We have the Catch. We have the Lithic uh, Lithic Spare. These these weapons, these four star weapons, also very good on Shao. Here I'm not gonna talk about the BP weapon or the Shop weapon because they also they always they they are the scam weapons you need to have r3 or r4 uh, ranking or a uh, refinement here in order to deal a respectful damage with these weapon on a character like shao and now we have like two to three artifacts set vermilion uh pavilion and the vv set for shaw like there is a many set in the game for shaw now like two three artifacts set in the game for shaw and now we also have a faruzan the animo buffer uh, that you can use uh, in the uh, in shaw teams and shaw will deal amazingly high damage so i think that's going to be same case when they are dropped they are not gonna be very good on the launch but uh, after some time she's gonna <coughs> But after some time, she gonna, she's gonna be very very good in terms of her pyro DPS. So for now, just skip there. In future, maybe when she will return, she's gonna have her rerun. Then you can go for there according to the scenarios that what artifact and weapon you have. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like the video, you can hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more Genshin related video and share this video with your friend guys and comment below what you like in this video. And if you think I said something wrong, you can correct me in the comment, no problem. We'll meet in the next video guys. Till then, bye bye.